Hi everyone. Some people may think that getting older is dreadful, but honestly, it's not that bad. Maybe you just need to change some things. I've cut out some habits that have brought me more happiness, joy and energy. So number one, I don't keep my house like a show home anymore. Because I was in the cleaning business for 37 years, I tended to keep it immaculate all the time. And it's not very good for the family because they feel uncomfortable and you don't need to keep it like that anyway. So I've stopped keeping my home immaculate. I've stopped continuously tidying up. I have a good clean once a week and that's it. I don't keep fussing every day with tidying and, and clearing away. The only thing I do do is clear the kitchen up after dinner every evening because obviously dishes need to be cleaned and put away. But other than that, I don't keep my house immaculate anymore and it saves me time as well. Number two is I stopped people pleasing. In fact, I took it to the next level and I left my cleaning business because I always said yes to everything that people were asking me to do. I was a very big people pleaser, but honestly, it just drains you and it just leaves you feeling flat, to be honest because you're keeping everybody else happy and you're not doing what you want to do. So I'm not saying you should leave your job. I had another little business to, um, to go to my reselling business, but just stop people pleasing so much. There's only so much that you can do and you just can't say yes to everything. So I stopped people pleasing. <laughs> Number three is I don't go shopping just for the sake of it. And I actually don't go into our big town at all. I can't remember the last time I went in um, because it's a waste of money for a start. You're just buying things that you don't really need and if I do need a few bits I like to go to our quirky little uh, towns that we've got like Lymington and Lyndhurst and it's a pleasure to walk around because they're such beautiful buildings and I prefer to do it that way. Now recently I needed a camera battery so I did buy that online because I'm not going to go somewhere just to get one thing. So I stopped walking around big towns wasting money and wasting my time. I just don't enjoy it anymore and I don't need as much as I used to so I stopped walking around big towns and spending money that it's just a waste. Number four is a big thing. I stopped eating unhealthy and I actually changed our whole diet and now I've changed to a Mediterranean diet. Um, there's been some health issues in our family this year and I just changed the whole diet. And we've cut out all cakes, sweets, biscuits, pastries, all that sort of thing that makes you put on weight and is really unhealthy for you. And we just eat a lot more vegetables and fruit, we eat tons more fruit. And I just, we feel so much better. Um, so much healthier, we've lost weight, I've lost nine pound in weight, my partner's lost some weight and it's just amazing, we, we feel so much better and I don't want to go down that line of eating unhealthy food, putting on weight and then that causes health issues and having seen my mum with Parkinson's disease for 16 years, it's horrible to watch somebody go down and not, not her fault of course and we lost her last year. So I just, you know, I want to keep my strength, I want to keep my mobility, and in order to do that, it's just eat a healthy diet, and I'm so pleased that we changed, because I just feel so much better, and I'm so much happier cutting out all that, you know, the sugar and the stuff that's bad. It just really does your body in, so, yes, so I'm not eating an unhealthy diet anymore, just sticking to the healthy stuff. And actually, it's not any more expensive because if you think about all the bad stuff that you buy, you waste an awful lot of money on that. So it doesn't work out any more expensive. So healthy diet for me. Number five is I stopped worrying about my looks. I'm getting older, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. So I don't worry about it. As long as I'm happy and I'm healthy, that is all that matters. So. Um, I might just go grey eventually, I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. And you know, I've got lines, I've got wrinkles, it's a fact of life, it just doesn't matter. It shows you're mature, hopefully a bit wiser. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I just I stick to comfortable clothes, I might wear a bit of makeup now and again. Um, but yeah, I just don't worry about it anymore. I just make the best of what I have 
and that's fine by me. Happy and healthy is number one. Number six is I don't rush around anymore because when I was still working in the cleaning, my goodness, I was rushing around constantly and I was exhausted at the end of the day. So I don't rush around. I'm lucky enough to be able to work from home now anyway. I just, I pace myself and I get done what I can get done. If something doesn't happen and I don't do it, then it rolls over to the next day or even possibly the next week. Again, I don't worry about it. I do what I can and the rest just doesn't matter. I just, I pace myself along the way. I take a break and yeah, I'm not going to wear myself out and especially now because I have osteoarthritis, I don't want to wear myself out and if I do rush around all day, boy do I feel it <laughs> and I don't sleep well either so I don't rush around anymore. Number seven is I will take time out if I need to. I won't just slog away saying oh I just get this done, I just get that done. I don't, I stop now and I'll take a break and I'll come down maybe have a coffee or a cup of tea, I'll have a walk around the garden, say hi to the chickens. Um, I will take that break if I need to, or even I'll go for a walk in the forest, I'll go swimming, I'll read a book. But if I really need that break, then it's important to take that break because you're not doing yourself any good physically or mentally, you know, depending on what you do. So yeah, important to take breaks. So to sum up, I'm happy and looking towards the future. Getting older is gonna happen it's inevitable so why not just embrace it it's it's the easiest thing to do just accept how you are make the best of yourself and yeah that's really all that matters is that you're happy and you're healthy and if you're not in a good place at the minute then look to changing that see how you can change it because that's what i did i did what i wanted to do and not keep keep going just because that's what we're supposed to do because that's life you just by the time you get i'm 57 now by the time you get older it's just no you have to start doing what you want to do to be honest i feel really blessed that i'm still here because a lot of people don't make it so yeah anyway i hope this video has helped you today please like and subscribe help my channel out that would be amazing Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye for now.